the back of the church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. On the day of her baptism, Judy was welcomed into the church and given new life in Christ and clothed with the garment of salvation. Today we greet the body of our sister, and we surround her with the church's prayer. And we commend our sister to the mercy of God and pray that the promise made to her in baptism will now be fulfilled. I would ask for the family to please come forward and place the pall on the casket. We gather together this morning to celebrate the Mass of Christian Burial, remembering the life of Judy Burson. As we begin, please turn to number 500 in our Blue Gather hymnal, and we will sing, Lord, when you came to the seashore, number 500. Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, as our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened. May our hope of resurrection for your servant Judy also find new strength through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. At this time, I call Tony Boker to please come forward to proclaim our first reading. reading from the book of the Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek, 
and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What gain have the workers from their toil? I have seen the business that God has given to everyone to be busy with. He has made everything suitable for its time. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we know that the one who has raised the Lord Jesus will raise you also with Jesus and will bring us with you to his presence. Yes, everything is for your sake, so that the grace as it extends to more and more people 
may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. So we do not lose heart. Even though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light, slight momentary affliction is preparing us for the eternal weight of the glory beyond all measure, because we look not at what can be seen, but at what cannot be seen. For what can be seen is temporary, but what cannot be seen is eternal. For we know that it is the earthly tent that we live in is destroyed. We have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the gospel of our Lord. Gospel according to John. Jesus answered his disciples, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. The person who loves their life loses it, and the person who hates their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. Now my soul is troubled, and what should I say? Father, save me from this hour. No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. And through this agrarian image, our Lord Jesus is talking about the Paschal mystery and how we are to live it now as his followers. The grain must give itself up to death so that something can come forward from it. It bears fruit. By dying, it is reborn into new life. The seed must be covered, enveloped by the earth. It gives itself over to the soil and the nutrients therein. There is no other way for the wheat seed to become what it is. For it to give way, it must die and remain. If it doesn't, it remains just a seed, just a grain. In that entire gospel passage, Christ is referring to himself, his passion, his crucifixion, giving way now to the soldier who pierces his side with a spear. Ourselves now as Christians participating follow in the same pattern. We must knowingly and willingly fall to the ground and go back to that which we were created. The temptation of the world we shun, embrace the humus, which means earth, and humility, to be able to give forth the fruit of the eternal soul. There is no other way. Being the grain of wheat, we give way to God, the Father, the Son, and Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. 
We give way to his grace. We give way to the truth for us, the life that goes on, which isn't ended. Now at this time, words can still fail us on a day like this. It catches us off guard. We are mortal, and we live in a fallen state. And it comes as a surprise at times when a family member, someone, a beloved one, passes away. But remember, death is a bottleneck. From mortality, a conduit, so to speak, a bottleneck to eternal life, almost like an hourglass. It's the bridge between this realm and eternal life that we all must pass through. Attempts to resist, to control, are futile. At this point, many people, we may feel small, sometimes fragile, but still, Holy Mother Church, our faith says from the beginning, even though we don't deny death because it's a bedrock of our faith and principle, we know it's merely a conduit to what we're created for, unification with our God. Just as our sister Judy is on her way today. That's why she was created. That's why we were created, to be unified with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Christ defeated death for us. That's ours now. That victory is now ours. And it's her story also. She's about to enter into the communion of and the victory of all the saints of heaven. What a glorious day it is for her. Where love is given, where love is given, life is given. And Judy gave hers to those around her. And talking to her family and the great affection and the stories that they have. She was her husband John's dedicated farmer's wife. Her gifts from Christ in painting and knitting for family members, her love for life, for animals, and for her family, picking their spirits up around her, from what I understand, in the bright colors that she wore. <coughs> Very soon, brothers and sisters, maybe, when she comes to see John, they'll be able to take that drive again that they used to on Sundays. Around that quiet place now, though, prepared for her by Christ in heaven. I'll leave you with this. St. Patrick gave us this beautiful prayer. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ when I arise, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me. Christ in every eye that sees me. Christ in every ear that hears me. And Christ with Judy forever. Prayers of the faithful. Please stand, everyone, for the prayers of the faithful. For Judy, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that she may now be admitted to the company of saints. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all those who have gone before us in faithful service, Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. For the family and friends, nieces, nephews of Judy, that they may be consoled in their grief of the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For those suffering and facing the burdens of today, that the words of Jesus, my yoke is easy and my burden is light, will inspire them with renewed courage. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For all of us assembled here to worship together in faith, that we may be inspired by Judy's example to serve God through prayer and service to family, friends, and neighbors with love and respect. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the voices of your people gathered here. 
whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated, everyone, as we prepare the altar. As those who are going to bring forward the gifts, please go to the back and prepare to bring the gifts forward for the offertory. As our gifts are brought forward, please join us in singing number 524 in our Blue Gather hymnal, Make Me a Channel of Your Peace, number 524. God bless you for Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look favorably on our offering, O Lord, so that your departed servant, Judy, may be taken up into the glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed and not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory 
as without end, we acclaim. Please kneel. If you're unable to kneel, please be seated. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to a setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you. By the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord, my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. In giving you thanks, he said the blessing. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord, my God. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to a second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, granted we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. 
be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Ronald Peter our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. And your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Judy, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who is united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. When from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his, of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too and to all who are pleasing to you that are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. And there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you are God as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. said. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. And graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other a sign of that peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. <clears throat> Please kneel and be seated.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. A gentle reminder, brothers and sisters, for reception of Holy Communion, the church allows two ways on the tongue. When a minister says the body of Christ, amen, we place the Eucharist directly into your mouth. Second way is left hand out, right hand underneath. The body of Christ, amen, and place the Eucharist into your mouth. Do not go back to your pew with our Lord, please. If you do not belong to the Catholic faith, please come forward. Place your hands like this, and you will receive a blessing. As communion is being distributed, please join us in singing number 585 in our Blue Gather hymnal. Let us be bread, number 585. <laughs> up on either side of the casket, brothers and sisters.
Please be seated or kneel. Thank you.
Let us pray. Please stand. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your servant Judy, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our sister. May our farewell express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope, for one day we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. In baptism, Judy shared in the death and the resurrection of Christ. May she now be welcomed into the glory of eternal life. As a sign of respect for our sister Judy, we will let this incense rise to God, who has called her now to share in his glory. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister Judy in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon her in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us now and listen to our prayers and open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our sister forever. Dear friends, may every mark of affection and every gesture of friendship that you give to others be a sign of God's peace for you. In peace, let us now take our sister to her place of rest. I have a couple of announcements too. Everyone is invited back to the country club, which will open at 12.30 for a luncheon, choir also too, and those the committal will take place immediately right now over at Avondale. We leave this celebration of Judy's life singing number 651 in our Green Catholic Book of Worship. Morning has broken, number 651. Mm -hmm. 